Frog. Frog. Tell me the origin story of Geld and when you guys formed. Hell yeah, Tom. <laughs> well, uh, well, we were in a band together and we wanted to do like more hardcore shit. So we'd be talking about it for ages, like when we were drinking and stuff. And then you were working in a bar and you were drinking there. And Isaac and I, we'd been at Laneway Festival, I think. Ooh. And we were like really fucked up and we came in and then we were like talking to you about doing it. And then you, you were like, can I, can I come too? <laughs> yeah. They um, were like, we want to do this decroits and work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Huh, 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 me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, we were, like, I was talking about Isaac, like, Ishadi from Power and Liquors and Cymacoma. Yeah. And uh, he, he would ask to do a band for a while. And um, finally got him into it. And, yeah, and then when you call me from the bar, because... You wear cool shirts, <laughs> I'd, and I'd wear cool shirts. So we talk about those cool shirts. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I mean, we're actually enemies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd only talked once on we the had phone a in, Texas. in Texas because his he was touring with the Joiners and they were playing and Chrome Song was playing and he borrowed Panky our drummer's cymbals. Yeah. Yeah. And we needed the sound check and I was coked off my fucking face <laughs> and was like. <laughs> Where's the fuck at being the big cons on campus and then fucking like I'm coming down off car. We like, never, like, no, never, I wasn't yelling at me. We've never talked since. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Can I be in your band? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, which yeah. is kind of um, good because we've been combative ever since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's so combatable. Yeah, yeah. combatable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But Isaac wasn't around for a minute because I think he was on tour with Power. So we, the three of us, jammed as a three piece mm -hmm. with me playing guitar. Like we're just doing two guitars with no bass as just like a try to fill out the sound. And it, I mean, it wasn't good. I it was remember. fine. Was, I'm sure it was, it was fine. fine. We're great. But um, yeah, and then eventually, like, Isaac got into the fold and we started playing shows. We were originally called Zertek. Zertek? Zertek. Okay. Because. Um, the elegies. 
because of the allergies. Yeah. And it's going today. And I, <laughs> I, I, and I thought it, I, I thought it was a cool name. And then Commie, was it you that was just like, he was, was, was it? We yeah, just like, like me too. <laughs> and he was just like, hey man, right? Nah, <laughs> this is bad. Um, but anyway, we did one show as Zyrtec. One show as Zyrtec. Yeah. And that was Maggot Fest. Maggot Fest. That was our first show. And then, um, then we changed it to Geld because we wanted to be called Money. <laughs> we thought that was, <laughs> and that was, a little, and we just thought that was a little too on the nose. Yeah. Chopping off penises. Yeah. And, well, and, we, yeah. but we didn't know that yet. And to call me and the internet and call me being like, yo, Money is called Geld in German, which is also like a, like yo. Fuck you, every German person. <laughs> and Belgium, for, and for, coming up, for coming up to us at every fucking show <laughs> and telling us as if we don't already fucking know. Hey, you know that. They're right. like, just like, hey guys, I don't know if you actually knew, but Geld actually means money in German, and we would be like, dude, you know what the best thing a German person <laughs> said was in Hamburg? Like, after the show. We played this fucking whack show in Hamburg where it's like we played like real early and disguise played real early and then it was like fucking ping pong night or some shit. Like yeah, we night. were supporting a ping pong night. Yeah, and he gets on like stage hell. and he's in the fucking urinal taking a piss and this German guy walks up to him and goes He goes That that said, that was like my dick. Fine. Short but fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, fucking Germany. Love it's it. A, it's, a, it's a beautiful place. Beautiful place. Yeah. Beautiful place. There's a lot to like about it's it. There's a lot to the place. Except the last 60 years. every single person there. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, they, the favorite thing like is where people come up to you after the set and be like, oh, the back that set was there. okay. Um, I liked your songs. You didn't play as good as the songs on the record, but that set was okay, I guess. Look. We, we might have to curtail this because we're going to just be dunk. We're just going to be yeah, dunking on Germans dunk. for like a long Well, time. we should dunk. probably just skip ahead and go, Isaac quit. Oh, I yeah. moved to Wollongong to be a surfer and have a family. And then, in a strange idiosyncrasy, me and Pete had never talked before. Mm. And we played this show with Letra's Gaze at that club in the city. And Pete oh, yeah. came up and was like, here, if you guys ever need a bass player. And the next fucking week, Isaac quit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was weird. So, and then like, Pete joins. Well, well, actually, Pete. and Pete came in and knew literally every song immediately. It's because him and I used to party and listen to the tape over and over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all like, yeah, I fucking rule. And he's like, yeah, I want to be this. <laughs> yeah, I wanted some. Yes. Yeah. That's how it all begun. And that's the impetus. It's the story of Gail. Mm. Of money. <laughs> das. But it's money. actually it's actually called Geld, but in in German it actually means money. Okay. Do you guys have a pretty big discography so far? Um, can you give us a rundown of what you've done? And um, I believe you've got something new in the pipeline. Yeah. Uh, so we've got demo that's had a couple of iterations, <coughs> a couple of issues on tape, and one issue on seven inch. Then we had Perfect Texture that uh, came out on Iron Lung and then later on Static Shock. Uh, and then we did uh, Soft Power EP, mm -hmm. um, came out on the same labels. Then Beyond the Floor, which was a second LP, again, same labels. And now we've got the new record that who the fuck knows when it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and it's on. Pending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to work with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was going to be on Iron Lung and Static Shock, and we kind of fucked around plus. Yeah, right. Uh, they ended up being really sound because we got offered um, we got offered to put the record out on, mm. and we were like, "Fucking hell!" You know, of your Desert Island discs, that logo was on like so many of your top hundred records, where you're like, "Yeah, yeah, totally." Uh, I don't know if we can not do this. Mm. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be on that label, which is mental, because it's like, you know, none of us care about making it. <laughs> it's just uh, things like touring and shit, you know? Like yeah. After the pandemic, yeah. it's so fucking expensive. 
where we're like, yeah, yeah, for sure. If we could even make a fraction of the fucking costs back touring overseas, because yeah. more people come out, that's what you start thinking. But yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's the whole like that's the whole point of the band that we want to make it so the whole thing is self perpetuating. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. We, we totally. never we like so. You know, we all got jobs, we all got like partners and shit like that. And we never, we were like, you know, the main thing that kills a band is fucking life. Yeah. So yeah, we were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so we were like, if we can make this encroach as little as possible on our lives, mm -hmm. financially and logistically, mm -hmm. then that's great because we love it and we want to do it as long as we can. Yeah, absolutely. So, For sure. yeah. So, yeah. What, whatever, whatever situation we have to make that happen, then that's the one we want to do. And like with with the discography and be, and writing new songs and being prolific, all we have to do is be in a room together and just songs just come out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're yeah. like, just want to keep doing it more and more. This very room. This very room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the fucking magic. Yeah. yeah. It's the, the fucking dojo. It's the altar. <laughs> 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 Yes, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so, next question. Go <laughs> <laughs> and play his next question. What's the uh, lyrical content behind your music, and do you have any philosophical themes behind your releases, or any other particular influences you want to achieve sound-wise as well? Uh, no. But um, the main part was when I started writing lyrics for Geld, I tried to do the um, war bad <laughs> lyrics and I tried to do like all of that stuff and it just didn't feel right because I, I ain't, you love I, I, I mean I love, he loves war. I mean I, I love pro war. war, I'm mad, mad pro war, mm -hmm. but I, I ain't been that shit and yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on there so I don't, I felt weird saying all that stuff yeah. and I was like okay, I guess white cis male here. <laughs> What, what, what's the play to me? I know, it's my own fucking head. Wait, there's all the fucking shit that's like, like wrong with me. Yeah. And like all that, and, but yeah, and obviously like getting like kind of freaky with it and trying to like paint as like a vivid picture as possible. Mm. But at the same time, it's all about just like being depressed and anxious as hell. Tell you, you know, brother. that's it. It's just like, but like the only that that like, uh, uh, seriously, again, mm. like white cis middle class cunt. Like I, I always like when people like speak truth to power on shit. And I'm just like, hey, like <laughs> I, I ain't got shit to say, but the one yeah. thing I do know is that I'm fucking broken. <laughs> in my in my own like very yeah. privileged, but also like very broken way. <laughs> So I'm gonna talk sh like that. That's the only thing I can like. That's the only thing yeah. I can scream about, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Like, for sure. Just living in a dying world. Exactly. We're yeah. all living in a dying world, and everything's fucked up. But like, you know, that's the thing that I feel like I can like stand up on a stage and just be like, yell about that, because uh, without like kind of just being like, oh god, this yeah. feels weird saying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? No, for sure. I'm, uh, I'm I'm sticking to my lane. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I like the horror movie version. Oh yeah, a lot. Of, there's a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but that's just like horror movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But also, I'm terrified of home. Oh movies. man, are we all, dude? That's my like. My ex girlfriend got home with it. Really? Really? In Dublin. Oh, For real? That's awful. No crack. Yeah. No crack yeah. at all. Yeah. Zero yeah. crack. Yeah, that's zero crack. Just young people. Thirteen year olds. They're watching Teddy smash the window in with a brick, come in and start robbing the fucking PlayStation VCR back then, etc. <laughs> and it's like, fuck. Yeah. What do you know about Home Alone It's funny, like, when, when some people are like, oh yeah, like, zombies or like, vampires or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Children. Like, children. <laughs> it's actually like, actually fucking, like, like, pre, pre-teens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pre Pre 12 year olds. Pre the fucking worst. Pre, the worst. pre, yeah, pre teens in athletic wear. Yeah. <laughs> Terrified. That man and Jeff, that's my horror Absolutely. movie king. Yeah, yeah, pre teens yeah. in athletic wear. Yeah. <laughs> Me and one friend had a showdown with eight 12 year olds <laughs> with maths compasses off the school bus when I was 17. <laughs> that's terrifying. The police got You involved. lived the nightmare. <laughs> they were oh, It was oh. fucked. <laughs> they are the scariest yeah. demographic. Yeah. So essentially, we're yeah. all like we're a north of thirty band that's like 
Scared of children. Scared of children. Absolutely fucking. Oh, there are three of them. How the fucking was? That's our inspiration. The only, the only, the only people who've ever pulled knives at me. I'm teenage boys from the age of 12 to 16. <laughs> and that's like over my life. I had a busload of kids yell at me once. They're <laughs> <laughs> like, not as no, They call you a pedo. No, they call me a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I was so furious. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was, kids can be so cruel. You're so homophobic. Oh. That's not okay. Yeah. But, Tom, you remember that when uh, those kids rolled us for our cigarettes? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I was so pissed. Fuck. We oh, had that we like we, we we were out like Tom and I were out in the town and we got rolled for our cigarettes. Yeah. We asked for a cigarette and then like basically just rolled us. We were in we an alleyway like on the ground rolling we, cigarettes, we just right? Felt so oh, fucking emasculated. Yeah, I felt <laughs> so just, like, like, We were so dude, mad. Remember I was, I was like, like no, fuck it, I'm gonna do something about it. And I walked up and I was like, Oi! Come back and they're like, what are you gonna do? And I was like, fine! <laughs> 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 we left! We left that away and bought a pack of cigarettes! Oh, like a fucking chunk! <laughs> oh yeah, I was just because like, it was like there's heaps of them. Okay. I mean, the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's where our songs come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're living the nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. We live this shit, man. Fucking. <laughs> okay. uh, are there any other sort of influences you wanted to achieve sound wise with what you guys are doing? Call me. <laughs> Not really. We kind of started as like decoits in worship, and yeah. then as soon as we started jamming, it was like. Black Sabbath and Nirvana covers. Yeah. <laughs> and then oh, it just kind of, I guess, was like fast, ugly hardcore. And then, I mean, the fun of this band is that no one says, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. yeah. And everyone who plays in bands has that experience where there's one person who goes, like, no. Oh, no, yeah, I don't it's, like it. It's, it's shit out, so. Yeah. And you play the riff and they're like, no, I'm not trying it. And they won't even try it. And then this, this band, we just jam and try everything. And that's how keeps being fun because it's yeah, like yeah, sure. a bit of everything from you know metal to punk to fucking shoegaze to ambient to everything like it's yeah synth jams i mean like <laughs> I, I mean i i get i guess like the boring answer is like poison idea lip cream yeah yada 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 like all like real real heavy <coughs> hardcore but we were also like wanted to add like but they're kind of bands we ended up sounding like rather than try to sound yeah that's true but yeah. we weren't like let's do Poison idea, that side of the cream, you know, it just was like that's how just how we play, I guess. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just ended up sounding like that. But yeah. um yeah. But also it wasn't like it there there wasn't like a need to make it interesting. We weren't mm. like being like, Oh, let's do a hardcore band but like but wacky mm, wha yeah. wacky yeah, and yeah, weird yeah. or something like that. We just wanted to like I don't know, we were like we we've all been in bands before and we've all been in like Specifically, we've all been in like genre bands yeah. before, yeah, 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 yeah. and we were like, "What? We'll just do a band where like all all of those parameters aren't really there, mm. and so we can like basically like rehearsals suck less." Yeah, yeah, for sure. I guess it's always hardcore. You know, we'll always come back to hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything yeah. else can happen. But just lots of Nirvana covers that. So many. Yeah, yeah. So many. <laughs> just Nirvana since, <laughs> since the beginning. Smashing Pumpkins, Green Day. Yeah. I've still been really, I've, I've, been, I've been still really like banging the drum on Geld covering a particular Fleetwood Mac song. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And we tried uh, it the other day. Oh, you did? No, yeah. Sick! I'm, I'm, it was sounding cool. I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah, it will. But, uh, yeah. Do We're not afraid of anything, it's just kids with compasses. <laughs> yeah. Box cutting kids. Big love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
What was your favourite place to play, and why is it Perth? <laughs> um, that's actually true. Yeah, Perth is fucking the best. Uh, amazing. Yeah, hundred percent up there. Yeah, that's uh, fucking rules. Like, it's the people. Everyone is so fucking sound there. Yeah, totally. You know, it's like, it's um, I don't know. When you're living somewhere isolated, I, I mean, you get it yourself. Me, being Kiwi and like. Oh, yeah. Me coming from Ireland, where no fucking bands ever come. Yeah, and yeah. more widely in Australia, no bands ever come. Mm. But in Perth, fucking nobody ever comes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if someone comes, you're gonna be like, shit, there's a band here. Mm. And then, I don't know, I guess, like, how big is Perth? Like, is it a million people even? I have no idea, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Because yeah. the scene there is fucking nuts. Like, the bands oh, are yeah, so but, yeah, but there is, like, there's, excuse me, there's this feeling <coughs> of, like, if. If I if I know one gonna come here, then we gotta make it happen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And mm. so mm. there it's like a very supportive, very super, super cool scene. Yeah, totally. Um But also no one leaves. Yeah. That's so true. Like, yeah, fucking people go back. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And people are keen to do their band like the best they can. But it's yeah. so hard to get out of town. No one gets out of town. Like, yeah. like who is that? Extortion. Uh, They've lived in Melbourne for like 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who else is known as the person? Yeah. I mean, we know his people. Oh, well, yeah, we but do. But there's so many but good like, bands there. Yeah, so many. Yeah, so many. Like, even just like from when we went, fucking Territory, No Future, Jailed, Hex, and. Simtex 87. Simtex 87. Gatra. Chain. Engage. Um, Skeleton, yeah, yeah, so many fucking bad, and previously, you know, mm. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. even not current. Oh, like fucking people problem. That was so good. Mm. Like, yeah. suffer. Did yeah. we say suffer already? Oh, suffer. Yeah. Nah. Oh yeah. shit. Prague. 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 Dragon any Wars. any Mickey band. Yeah. yeah. Any Mickey band. Yeah. yeah shout out to Mickey band. for he fucking baby. Best steel hardcore. Baby said the whole time we're cut. Best steel daddy. Yeah. Best steel daddy. Best steel daddy. Um. Best steel cunt. Gore-Tex lover. I um. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh and, and Prague. They're probably my Pitt two favourites. Pittsburgh and Prague. Yeah, we've been to, yeah. Uh, Boston. Boston was sick. The only place is a yeah. P. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, Boston. Yeah, Boston. Boston was, Boston was yeah. nuts. Everyone told us Boston was going to suck. Oh, oh, Boston. We, we, we didn't actually play in Boston. Oh, yeah. Haverhill, Massachusetts. No, I don't know what it was. Why not? Austin. <laughs> yeah. The show was great. And the after party was great, too. Fuck yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. It was fun. Right? What did we yeah. do? I can't remember. We uh, went to some massive house. Some house, yeah. Oh yeah. Stilt. yeah! With the balcony and all. Yeah. yeah. That was nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pissed off the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Did you? Who? Some other things happened that we will not talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What? What's happened? Oh, I'll tell you that later. <laughs> well, like, Ooh. Richmond? Oh, Richmond! Richmond oh, Richmond's fun! Richmond was, Richmond's the, crazy Richmond, like, Richmond was, was the crazy Oh, show. dude. Yeah, yeah like, was, we need to go to Pete. Pete scared off some, some baddies. Yeah, Ooh. Like, call me, call me, call me, he's gonna take care of like, Pete. Police and yeah. stuff. Yeah, fireworks. Yeah. Call me pissed on someone. I shot a firework yeah. at him, and then he thought it was someone else, and he pissed on him. <laughs> but it was me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, right. <laughs> oh, and it was the fucking summer solstice as well. Yeah, right. twenty eighteen. Yeah, everyone's got nuts. Yeah, we were, styles. we were intending to do some sorcery, but instead we just pissed on people. To <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, and drugs. <laughs> no, it's a good time. Yeah, they're all they're all fucking. You know what our favorite place? The place is gonna fucking have us. Yeah, 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 there we go. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's heartwarming. <laughs> It's politicking, baby. It's <laughs> punk business. Gal means money. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> Go Jeremy, they'll fucking tell you. <laughs> You've been um, coined as psychedelic hardcore. Uh, could you tell me your most profound psychedelic experience? Yeah, I was actually talking about it today. <laughs> but it's just DMT, you know? Yeah. Oh, this is just is just it, going to the universe. It, it, is, fucking... is all of the answers DMT? No, no. I've had pretty profound experiences on amphetamines too. But <laughs> they weren't spiritual. <laughs> they were lessons. I need to like actually put it out there that I am the only member in uh, Geld that's 
only had mushrooms once. Yeah. And uh, that's all. Ah, the... me too. Well, you only had that. Oh, did you have it that time? What, what time? We did like some weird occult ritual. Nah. I was not there. Uh, you oh, were, it was on the patio. Yeah, oh, you was just like that. <laughs> you have a mushroom? No. Did we you? took mushrooms. What was I doing? Oh, what? you might have had work or something. Um, I left. Uh, sounds right. Should we? Look, yeah, sorry. I mean, point is, yeah. like, we had some people that really care about it. And some people care about it less. Mm -hmm. I care, care about her brain. I care, I, I, I care about Hawkwind. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's, right. that's, that's why I was the front man. He can put all the pieces back together. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's just the pedals. Just the pedals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's why yeah. people say that. Have you heard them? They sound like a shit. That's just a way of doing a fucking delay, a flange or something. Everyone's like, woo, so you do. And I don't think the um the substance is related really, it's just part of life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean I don't think you could write them songs if you never took drugs. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, for so sure. It's I mean I'd like I'm still waiting for psychedelic hardcore. Yeah. I don't think psychedelic hardcore has happened yet. Or okay. that it's possible to exist. Mm. I think it's possible oh, for it to exist. exist. But I think it would be very hard to make it good. Like, you could definitely do yeah, it. You know, the one thing that, in, that Impaler's record, that like... Psychedelic um, Smoke Skeleton? Yeah, that's yeah. right, that one, with the, the one big song. Mm -hmm. That's as close <laughs> as I've ever heard. And there's no fucking flange or any like loopy loop loops, loop, yeah. loops bits. It's and, just fucking hard out. And, but it's just fucking <laughs> hard out, but it goes for, it, it goes for, so, those riffs go in for so long. Mm. And that's like about, like, psychedelic music is not about like, it's not about, it's not about, the like loopy loops it's mm. about like pressing an idea to the yeah, point yeah, that yeah. it feels well different mm. this closes the psychedelic yeah 100 you know, percent. like, like, what, like uh, the, you can get hypnotized yeah, totally, is, totally. Is, is yeah when, that, when that like when that like that like db and all of the especially with like with disclose and like all noise core bands when all the waves are just like mm. just pulsating at you yeah that's when it psychedelic beyond the like Shang may have a fucking crust fist thing <laughs> and you're just kind of, when you're just in the like you know waves of like yeah yeah noise washing over you mm. you go elsewhere in your head yeah totally yeah that's what's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so stammer is like way more of a psychedelic than well that's maybe. true yeah yeah i agree yeah I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. well because it's about losing yourself and getting out of your head mm. and that's like what is cool about hardcore is you get out of your head and you forget where you are and you don't give a fuck about anyone looking at you or anything mm. like that mm. and you just like feel and respond physically and like yeah yeah That's when, it, when it's like it's it's not even that it's so fast you can't mosh it's just so there is just so much fucking shit coming at you that yeah. all you're doing is just like sitting there just being like oh, cool <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's and not like, washable yeah it, like, yeah, it's, so it's you're just, just like just, yeah. Yeah. just waves crashing over you <clears throat> it's, yeah no I, I agree that's, that's a good answer <laughs> <laughs> so Tom you've uh, taken up a career in amateur wrestling um, I ever. wrestling right? every day with the demons <laughs> <laughs> If, if uh, Gail had to fight in a Royal Rumble or death match, um, or, you know, whatever kind of special match, uh, for the saviour of humanity, what would, your, what would your opponents be? What for? Uh, just to be clear, mm. we get to pick, well, Tom gets to pick the opponents who we can save humanity. So like, wouldn't you just fight Hasbulla? He's <laughs> 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 fucking army. Do they have to be a body, <laughs> or can you just make them the ambassador for bodies? Because like, dealer's choice. Or is it? I couldn't hit Hasbulla. No, it's, it is true. You can't. He's so cute. He's adorable. Oh, that's that kid. Yeah, the, um, the kid. That's like him. He's not a kid. He's like He's like nineteen years old. No, he's older than that. I think. Really? Yeah, You're telling like, me I can't take him? Like I don't think you could take him. He's a slappy little fucker. <laughs> oh, I'm a fool. That's... What? 
Okay, you probably could. Does yeah. it have to be a band? If it was a band. Oh, is it Bear? Should we start some big? Oh, yeah, could Turn be. Turnstile! Yeah. What? Turnstile, <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yeah, they're good. Oh, they're good. Well, you know, when they come down to the fucking <laughs> North yeah. Social Club, I'll we'll see you at the fucking North Coast Social Club. <laughs> Which coming out? It's actually Northgate Theatre, because they're like a boot. Oh, oh, sorry, the Northgate Theatre. Um, Who is the enemy of the people? Um, in hardcore. Definitely Turnstile. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, man. They're a friend of the people. No, no, they're a friend of the people. They're getting people. kids in. They're getting kids in. That's yeah. the point. And, yeah. uh, and, and also, <laughs> that, also that record. So, the yeah. previous few do. <laughs> um, but your your question was who would we fight? Yeah, fuck. Um, I mean, who have we fought? <laughs> we fought. <laughs> hey, that band with that cunt. The enrichment. <laughs> no, but no, but the, they were sound. That guy sucked. Uh, wait, which one are you talking about? Future <laughs> Terror. Oh, Zex. Yes, yeah, Zex. Oh, you know Zex. Yeah. Yeah, we're all oh, Zex. Oh, my god, you are fucking, Zex, you motherfuckers. We were about to smash them. Yeah. yeah and then Pete just... scared them away. Right. Actually, right. luckily we didn't we don't like fighting. We like ending shit. Ooh. But That's not... that cunt uh, I'm not if you want to know about that cunt looking up online. Yeah. <laughs> but I was mates with him. Okay. And we'd play gigs with him and all, and then there was just too many people, too many girls had been like that guy. Yeah. At a certain point you have to go, fuck off. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I played a show with them like 10 years ago or something like that and the only one that was like friendly died like a week later. Oh really? Yeah. The he drummer. was cool. The drummer. Yeah, yeah. He, was he was really cool. Yeah, the other two were wankers. We played with them at Black Coat. Oh yeah, I played that show too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we did. Did we play? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we did. <laughs> so we um, don't want to fight him. Well, we, we don't really. Want we're love. It's all, it's all, it's all love here. Yeah. You know. Except for them and that guy later that night and the people in the car park were filling that before <laughs> <laughs> and that guy fought in Paris <laughs> and, and the guy in Hamburg which guy? oh he the, guy that, the guy that yelled at me because I kept wrestling people and knocking the turntables over what's that fucking story about no, um, you meet oh, like dude. three assholes in a day <laughs> And guess what? You're the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we actually are. We would fight anyone. That's what. Yeah. I, 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 actually, that, 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 actually, that should that, that that should be the answer. Anyone, anywhere, yeah. any it's fucking time. time. Yeah. It takes We're gonna take it. Anyone, uh, anyone thinks they're better than us? Step up. We yeah. Fucking murder you. You know what? I will take turnstile, and I'll take that Grammy that they're probably gonna get. And I'll, take <laughs> yeah. I'll take that riffs. I'll As yeah. the vice principal of Christian Brothers School of Roscommon. Mick Fahey told me when I was 13, Cork, does trouble follow you around? <laughs> or do you follow trouble around? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely trouble follows me around. Mm. I never done nothing to deserve the fucking shit I get. <laughs> 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 All right. There you go. Plight. Mm. Solid plight right um, there. Uh, That's a muddly that, answer. Uh, yeah, what was the answer? question? <laughs> Yeah, who are you going to fight to save the world? Oh, That's anyone. Probably. Probably. Everyone. Save the, the world. world. We'll fight the world. Unknown. Oh, For peace. Mm. Um, yeah. Crass. How's that? Crass. I'll fight, <laughs> I'll fight, fight Crass. They're like a punk. <laughs> we'll fight the whole Crass Records roster. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> except, except, do shit. except for look to Pink Indians and R Rudy. P.I. Oh, yeah. I'll fight everyone else. Yeah. Honey Bane, I'm coming for yeah. you. <laughs> Honey Lame. Man, they're tough, they're tough. <laughs> 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 Alright, I, I reckon that was a pretty concise answer. I think we're good. It's good, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. There was a, a, a four way split that was released back in New Zealand called Hardcore Cinema, where every band wrote a song about a movie. If you could write a song about a particular movie, what would it be? Oh shit. Oh damn. Whoa. Immediately, what springs to mind is the thing. Oh, fuck yeah. Nice. Because I'm like, everyone is my enemy, mm -hmm. and they're a fucking fake. <laughs> nice! <laughs> so <I'm> like... <laughs> and that might say more about me. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I write the Faces of Death soundtrack. Ooh. It was all just grinded death metal anyway. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I would pick Caddyshack because I'm having the time of my yes. life. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what about you, Pete? You got one? Mm, uh, maybe Enter the Dragon. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> fuck yeah, man. Nice. I'm a fighter. Yeah. But um, we all love us too. The fighters. The lovers. Yes. But ultimately, but we'll fight fights. anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll kill everybody. Kill, I'm going to kill everyone. Yeah. Well, no. Um, um, yeah. But that's that's um, good. What do you want to happen with Gelt? Just the world, baby. Keep on rocking? Keep on rocking. We want to keep on rocking. Dave, if you could prevent World War II, would you do so to have no discharge and all... Hardcore would be minor threat, okay? Oh. Hardcore would only be minor threat and minus ray influence bands if it wasn't for World War II. Do you let World War II happen? Or... Absolutely. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Of course you would. That's your answer. War bad. <laughs> War is bad.